Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our not so berry challenge. I <laughs> I love this challenge. Let me just say that last episode was a wild freaking ride and I'm just so excited about how everything is going. I read all the comments on the last video and you guys have such active imaginations and you come up with the best ideas for the story. So yeah, there's a few of them that I'm going to be implementing into this Let's Play. So thank you guys for leaving such sweet comments. Thank you for like telling me your ideas and all that. It really does make me happy. So we have an alien baby now and <laughs> Auntie is pregnant with another alien baby. So I'm excited to see uh, what kind of baby we're having in this episode, if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. A few of you said that Primrose doesn't have to be the next heir. And I totally forgot about that. I'm just so used to like reg regular legacy challenge, but I think I want her to be the next heir. Depending on what the second baby is like, we'll see. I haven't decided yet, but it's pretty exciting that we have a couple of options. I hope that you guys had an amazing holiday break. I'm actually filming this episode right after my 100 baby episode that I just filmed. I have like so much energy today, so I'm taking advantage of it. I do have a Celsius. It's halfway drank already. It's the Fuji Apple Pear one, so no ASMR in this video, but cheers to you. Cheers to this video. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, here we are back in the Berry household. I made a couple of changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those right now. I decided to add a couple of things from Snowy Escape to the house because Andy is Japanese and that pack has like a lot of Asian inspired build stuff. I put some of it around the house just to give it a little more flair, I guess. <laughs> I added this plant. I also added a couple of the chairs and these little things from uh, Snowy Escape. Love them. Heading inside, I added some high chairs for the babies. <laughs> I added some photos over here that we had in our inventory, just uh, Andy and Alice. Aw, Andy and Alice, that's so cute. Why, why in all of my Let's Plays, it's like <laughs> our best friend has the same first letter, like the Tina and Tony one, and it's happening again with Andy and Alice. And we have a picture of Primrose right here. I added a fireplace. Shoot, hold on, let me pause. I don't wanna waste time. Okay, I added a fireplace and this really pretty vase over here. I downloaded this CC pack. It's called Oak House. I forget who the creator is, but I'll put it here on the screen. There's such good stuff in there, you guys. Like this vase, there these pillows right here, the slouchy ones, those were in there. Just really good stuff. Um, in the kitchen, I got this crown. I've never used it before, but I think it might be able to come in handy because we have all those extra crystals. I added a hot pot here. This teapot is from the Oak House thing and so is this pot, so cute. Let's head out back because I added some stuff out there too. I replaced the table with the table from Snowy Escape. I added this little seating area with one of those outdoor fire pits. Um, What else did I do? Ah yes, let's head upstairs. I'll show you guys how I built the baby room. Oh, there she goes. Okay, up here, I had to uh, like rebuild the floor plan a little bit. Some of you guys said to put the bedroom where the seating area is, but I'm so obsessed with the seating area and I love how it looks out the window. I just think it's such a vibe, so I left it. I transformed Andy's massive closet that she never used into the baby room. <laughs> so let's go into the master bedroom first so I can show you guys how it looks now. It's quite small. Um, there's not a lot in here, but Andy has everything that she needs. And then through this door is the baby's room. I decided to do a joint bedroom just cause, yeah, why not? <laughs> it's very red. I wish the light was on so that you guys could see better, but, um, I love this little nook. It's like a little just like bed area. It looks so cozy. And we've got a build and blocks thing. We've got a Drago, I think that's what they're called. Um, I put the rose crystal in here like I said that I would. And look at this, isn't this cool? It's a alien baby birth certificate. That is so legit. So I'm stoked to have two of those. This, uh, this is like a mirror pattern thing. I don't really know, but it kind of reminded me of like space and aliens <laughs> so i put it in here and the alien uh end table and the alien bed frames um yeah i just think they're really cute and of course i had to put the cow getting abducted lamp next to the bed <laughs> 
it only makes sense. Um, yeah, you guys, that's that. And I don't think I changed anything in the bathroom. I just put a potty in here. That's it. That is it. Where did our fish go? No. Where did our fish go? Might have to check our inventory. But yeah. I hope that you guys like their bedroom. I'm so excited to get into this episode, you guys. I don't normally film two videos in a row, but I have been dying to play this. And if you guys don't know, if you're like kind of new to my channel, I have a schedule. So I post like my Let's Plays in a certain order. So um, it's not so Barry. And then after that's Legacy. And then after that's Mystical Motherhood. And then after that, it's 100 Baby. And then we come back to Not So Barry. So I couldn't just like film this before I filmed 100 Baby because it would be out of order. <laughs> anyway, enough with the boring stuff. Um, it's new skill day, so that's extremely, extremely important. But first and foremost, I wanted to show you guys uh, Primrose's alien form. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I wasn't even sure if I wanted her to have an alien form. <laughs> But I decided to make her skin... Are you done? Okay. <laughs> I decided to make her skin mint as kind of like a little nod to Andy, I guess. And the rest of her is red, like everything else is red. I downloaded a bunch of alien stuff right now. And another thing is like I made her skin green because they don't have a red or a pink skin, which is kind of weird, but that's okay. Ah yes, I downloaded this. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty silly. She definitely looks like an alien. So you guys are gonna have to let me know if you want her alien form to be like full blown alien, or if you want her to just have like little low key details like her ears and her eyes and her skin, but everything else be normal. Uh, was there anything else that I downloaded? I downloaded a bunch of stuff, so I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, these. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is so freaking cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at her. She's a little alien baby. Oh, so, so, so cute. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave these on her, but let me know in the comments what you think of them. Oh, this is interesting. It's only half of her face for some reason. Huh. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh, so cute, am I right? As far as clothing goes though, I couldn't find anything, which is kind of a bummer. But that's okay, she's not gonna be a toddler forever. So you guys are gonna have to let me know if we should keep the alien details, the antennas, the, the red like forehead area. Let me know. Um, some of you guys in the comments were asking me where this bandana hair from or what creator makes this bandana hair. And this is by Simpliciati. I'm not 100% sure if it's a Patreon exclusive or not because I do pay for her Patreon, but yeah, that's the creator. Also, one of you guys asked where the dish rack on the sink is from, <laughs> and I said that I would find out in this episode, so let me go ahead and check that out really quick. One of the comments, or a bunch of the comments actually, were talking about how it would make sense if Primrose was the next heir. Uh, so this dish rack is by Peacemaker Sims, and it's from the Shaker Kitchen collection. Yeah, Peacemaker makes like the best build stuff. So for the Rose generation, um, let me read this to you guys again. You had everything you desired as a child, but you were always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in The Sims 4, you would have it. You have absolutely no maternal instincts whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. Hot-headed, snob romantic, aspirations, serial romantic, and uh, politician career. So <laughs> let me just, let me just freaking point out a few comments that really stuck out to me that I thought was just like perfect. So having an alien for this generation makes sense in so many ways. Like having no maternal instincts, but still loving your child just kind of seems like an alien thing. Cause she's obviously, she's not from this world. 
so she wouldn't be like a normal sim so not having maternal instincts kind of makes sense and the fact that she has like the serial romantic aspiration it's like she's just so enamored with this world and just like meeting different people so that also makes sense and then <laughs> with the politician career so many of you guys were like oh my gosh an alien president like she's either planning to take over the world like freaking dominate the world or like destroy the world or she's interested in merging two worlds like the alien world and the human world i don't know there's just so many things that like makes sense to have an alien as this generation's heir. And the fact that, um, that Mint needs to be best friends with Yellow, and Yellow is, ex Yellow is generation three, and they're obsessed with space, which makes so much sense to have an alien mom and be obsessed with space, and um, being best friends with Mint, who, who was abducted a couple of times and just like, they can like bond over alien things. So yeah, it seems to be all working out. I love it. At first I was like, oh my god, no. An alien baby, please no. <laughs> but now I'm super, super stoked. But I have to say I am not interested in being abducted anymore. So I want to buy a one of those satellite dish things and then put it in our yard and do uh, prevent abductions. Shoot, do I have to make one at work? I might have to craft it at work, but if I do, that's okay. I don't really mind. Also, we're super broke because of all the building that I did, the bedroom and everything. Oh shoot, I totally forgot to show you guys the lab. I redid the lab as well. I'm obsessed with how it came out. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not seeing the satellite, so we probably do have to craft it at work. That's fine, it'll save us money that way. Okay, let me show you guys the lab, because I'm obsessed with it. Oh, this world, so pretty. Oasis Springs for the win! I used to hate Oasis Springs, but now I love it. It's one of my favorites. So the first thing that you see when you come down the stairs is Andy's alien in her display case. I love doing this. <laughs> If you watch my Mystical Motherhood series, you know that I love to use this, like, I don't even know what you call this. It's like a display case or whatever, but I just put one of the mannequins from, um, shoot. What pack does the style influencer career come in? Well, whatever pack that is, they have mannequins that you can dress in Create a Sim. So I just put a mannequin in here and then I went to Create a Sim and I put on the alien suit and then this like alien head thing is from Journey to Batu. When I first got that pack and I saw this, this like alien hat stuff in there, I was like, I am never gonna freaking use this. It's useless. This build stuff or this uh, Create a Sim stuff is crap. <laughs> but I found a use for it and I'm so stoked because it was perfect because I wanted so like an alien to be in here. <laughs> We've got our little desk area here and her plants. I'm just going to be growing strawberries and blackberries up top or grapes, I think. Uh, and you walk in and you have like this divider with windows. So that's our little like um, experimenting area. I put a little area for the toddlers to be in while we're down here. Like I can put the toddlers in here and lock the gate while we work or whatever and they can just be in here um, playing. We've got our squids, we've got our extra crystals, our element collection over here and then we head inside here. Oh gosh, that's a tight squeeze. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to delete this wall as well. But we have our chemical machine, a chemical analyzer I think it is, and then our um, analysis thing our <laughs> alien bassinet and i don't know what i was thinking with this like i don't know maybe she brings aliens home or like does experiments on them and this is where she does her like frankenstein type stuff i don't know i don't know but this is the lab and i hope that you guys like it i also changed the light colors in here to make it look a bit more lab like so yeah, guys, that's where all our money went. We had $13,000 and now we have 755, so that's fun. All right, let's get into some gameplay, cause holy cannoli. I'm gonna get little Bean to put on her disguise. It looks like she needs some food and some sleep, so. Miss Berry, is that for her? Okay, no, don't eat the Caprice salad. You have a kid now, so you kind of need to think about her first. So you can go ahead and eat that. Andy, you can have... 
You can have some salad. I love, 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 love her so much. She is so freaking cute. So I'm probably gonna want her to be the heir, you guys. Holy cannoli, Andy. When did you become, um, a master chef? What the heck? What, what level are you? Almost level six. Why are you so good with knives? What is happening right now? You're cooking as if you're level 10. Okay, you're insane. So it's new skill day, so I'm thinking, oh, you know what? You guys told me also in the comments to purchase the observatory because that helps with mischief and logic at the same time. And I had no idea. So let's see how much it is. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably way too expensive. Yeah, 1,500. Okay, well, we're gonna have to save up for that. So this thing right here, it's a cr crist crown crystal. I think it came with Get Famous, but you can slot in different crystals and it like helps you with certain things. Oh my gosh, are they gonna eat together on the couch? Oh, how cute. Yes, girls. Oh, please don't get up. I wanted to get a cute pick. Okay, what are you off to do? You need sleep, so why don't you come to bed? If you guys don't remember, little Bean here is independent, so she loves to do things on her own. That really comes in handy because sometimes it's really frustrating having like a clingy child or whatever. That's weird, why can't you get into bed? Shoot, it must be the bedspreads. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying because they're so cute. Let me see, can you sleep now? Oh, you can, all right, fine. I just got a notification that Alice is here with a gift, so let's go ahead and invite her in and see what she's got for us. What you got for me, Alice? What's the gift? Billy Finta. Aww. Oh. For me? Yes. <gasps> Thank you. Oh shoot. Oh my god. Okay, what'd she give us? A Sunset Valley postcard. Did you just get back from there? Did you bring us a souvenir? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get to work on some logic stuff. Let's practice analysis downstairs. A lot of you guys were asking me how the heck our girl got pregnant from being abducted because apparently only males can get pregnant from abductions. Level seven, that's what I'm talking about. Very nice. But apparently only male sims can get pregnant from abductions. I don't know why she's pregnant. It must be from a mod, a mod that I am not certain of. Maybe MC Command Center, but I've literally never messed with the settings for like alien stuff on there. So I don't know, it must be like a default thing. I don't know you guys, I really have no idea, but I looked on the internet and a couple of people have been able to get their female sims pregnant from abductions. So I don't know. If I knew, I would totally tell you guys and hook you up with some knowledge, but I just don't know how it's possible. Um, do you have work tomorrow, by the way? Oh yeah, you have work in 10 hours. Okay, yeah. Let's get some sleep then. So what's this? Yeah, she's in the weird tummy ache phase. So I think she might be in trimester two. I'm not sure. But at least we got one skill up, one skill level up. Good morning! Let's use the potty, have a shower before our little BB wakes up. How much time do we have? Oh, it looks like she's gonna wake up very, very soon. So let's go ahead, wake her up, give her a bubble bath. It's crazy. Our morning routine used to be wake up, swim laps in the pool, <laughs> practice some analysis, and now it's wake up, Give our freaking baby a bath and oh my gosh, we're gonna have two of them soon. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I also asked you guys what you thought about having um, her and Luke be together anyway, even though that she, even though she has kids. Like some of you guys really wanted her to be a single mom and some of you guys were like, no, Luke is 100% stepdaddy material. <laughs> um, please make him be a stepdad. Etc. It was like 20% of you guys wanted her to be a single mom and 80% of you guys wanted her to be with Luke. So uh, I was on the fence about it. I wasn't sure what I wanted, but I think I'm gonna give the people what they want. And some of you guys were saying that you wanted her, her and Luke to have kids of their own. And honestly, like 
I could see that too. I can see Andy like wanting a ginormous family. And since the next generation only has one kid, yeah, I think it would be fun if this gen had a bunch. All right, so our little BB is hungry. So no, do not make a mess. Grab a serving of this. And Miss Andy, calmly ask her not to make a mess, please. You can have some elote as well. All right, didn't have time to clean up the mess, but off to work we go. I wonder if we're gonna get promoted today. How are we doing at work anyway? Dun, 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 dun. Unexpected visitors, alert! Aliens have infiltrated these headquarters and are trying to pass themselves as humans. Very suspicious. Be on the lookout for them in any sabotaged equipment. <gasps> Andy did contact them last time about the babies, so they're probably, uh, they probably came to say what's up. Okay, so we got Alice here. Uh, yes, she... She's one of our co-workers as well. Are they gonna be disguised as our co-workers? Who's that? Oh, there's the receptionist. She's not in her outfit though. Who's this? Joy Pace. Okay, this is definitely an alien. For sure. Well, I think the first thing that we wanna do is make a satellite dish. Crap, we need two common metals and two common crystals. Can we put this in our inventory? Actually, let's... If we prevent abductions here at work, will that prevent abductions at home? Gosh, I hope so. This has got to be a tourist, so I'm going to give her a rude introduction. Hey, Joy, who are you? Uh, why are you glowing? You know, you guys told me in the comments that Abby is a alien. I had no idea. But you were saying that she's the one that that made Andy get abducted because we turned her down. Oh my god, imagine. Lie about career to tourists. Okay, I can definitely do that. Did you see the shooting stars today? No, Wolfgang, we didn't. I didn't even realize that we knew you. <laughs> oh man, we are in a really bad way. Look at our mood. It's from the pregnancy. All right, let's um, let's get a sandwich because we're starving. I think we're gonna be really not. I mean, we're gonna have a really bad day at work today. Definitely not getting promoted. Oh, do you want to go on a date today? I mean, yeah, I would love to, but I'm super busy right now. What's this? Violating? Oh crap! You're having a sandwich? Wait, it didn't say it was a meat sandwich. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Crap! Now she's sick. You know what? Let's just prank the toilet to make us feel better. I'm so sorry, Andy. You didn't say that it was a meat sandwich. Time to throw up. Rhett clearly... Okay, let's introduce ourselves to him. That is uh, not a very convincing disguise you've got on, I have to say. <laughs> the pink brows totally give you away. All right, all done. We made $900 and got a vacation day. <laughs> I'm surprised. We did horrible today. We did nothing but talk to the aliens. All right, back home we are and we have bills to pay. Gosh, how much are bills this time? $5,000. How are we going to do that? And where's our baby? Oh, she's here in the living room. All right. Well, let's see. How are your skills? All right. We want the imagination and the we want everything to be level three, pretty much. I, th I think that's what it is. So that she ages up with some good things. It looks like Andy's going straight to bed. So with Primrose, we should just um, spend some time. Hmm. You know what we could do is master the potty skill while Andy's sleeping. And she's independent, so she can go potty all by herself. So I'm just gonna keep getting her to go potty over and over. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I still can't believe we have a kid. Yeah. It's honestly crazy. Want to join me at the club? There are a lot of cuties here right now. Oh my gosh, Monique, I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> um. Also in the last episode, we told Alice that her husband was a dirt bag because he hit on us. It looks like they're still married So maybe we should um invite her over tomorrow and tell her that they should break up Oh, I finally got promoted at my job. Want to celebrate at the bar? Oh, 
so many good things, but it's like, no, we have a toddler and we're currently pregnant. I think the last thing that she'll want to do is like go out. All right, she's almost maxed her potty skill. A little bit more. Keep it going. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing 100, baby. All right, there you go. You've done it. Level three. What a good bean. Okay, let's head downstairs. She needs some food. I love me an independent toddler. You guys have no idea. I think she's about to hit level three in her movement skill as well, which is amazing. I did do a little bit of skill building off camera with her when I did the building. Like when I build her room and all that stuff, just because I know that it can be boring. So that's why she's like a little bit advanced in some of her skills. How was that num num, huh? Was it good? I'm glad. Okay, almost level three movement. Why don't you go ahead and do some wandering? All right, there you go. Level three. Fantastic. Oh, it looks like Andy's awake. Let's read Primrose to sleep. Oh, shoot. She's gonna pee herself. Okay, maybe go to the bathroom first. Oh, no, this alien baby. It's killing her. Spinach frittata for breakfast? That sounds amazing, doesn't it? Her fun's a little low, so why don't you watch some TV while you eat your breakfast, hmm? Let's put the crown in her inventory as well, and let me see what what crystals we have and what they do. When slotted into the crown, this crystal ensures friendly socials never fail and recharges the hygiene need. Uh, this crystal boosts fame point gain and recharges the social need. This crystal clears a sim's mind of sad energies and this crystal recharges the bladder need. Huh. Fancy. Where the heck did we get a death flower from? That's strange. All right, time for work. It looks like we got to upgrade the sim ray today to mind control someone to sit. Can we even do that? Okay, yeah, we can. Let's go ahead and do that. Mix ghost goo serum. Wait, is that why we have a death flower? Because we need to mix that? Oh, dang it. No, we just need three mushrooms. Drink this serum to temporarily turn your sim into a ghost. That's so sick. Aw, Nox, are you having a bad day? Poor Mr. Sir. Nox just gave us something that we didn't have, a punium. <gasps> That's so exciting. Okay, we need a DNA sample and it seems as though Alice is the only one. Why is Luke inviting us on a date every single day that we're at work? She's the only one that ever gives us DNA samples. So let's ask her. Thanks, queen. You the best. Just brighten her day. And we gotta use the potty. Oh my gosh, we need to use the potty so bad. Get out, Nox! Oh my gosh, you freaking weirdo. Alright guys, $1,194, no promotion, and no vacation day. Boo! Okay, we still don't have enough money to pay our bills, so that's fun. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the loot box this time around. Is it another space one? Science loot box. Okay, that's pretty dope. Shoot, we have to pay for it though. 50 bucks. That's fine. Let's open it. Okay, it looks like we got some Slimify. Drink this serum to make your sim slimmer. Oh, interesting. We've got an air award, whatever that is. A rainbows. I don't know what that is, but I know that we have never had it before, so it'd be kind of cheating to use it. Um... We got death metal and a fossilized llama toe. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell that. <laughs> sell the death metal because we already have it. This was something that Knox gave us at work today, so I'm gonna send that to Geo Council. Um, I'm also gonna send that to these robot salvage parts. We have so many of them and they're worth $290. So definitely gonna sell that. A robot toy, selling that. And then we have all these elements in our inventory. Let me see if any of them slot into the elements collection thing and if they don't i'm probably going to end up selling them because we need the money <laughs> okay that one did not that one didn't what is this i'm pretty sure this one won't i recognize the name nope no no flow zone more like frozone no no Come on, dude. Oh my gosh, yes! That one went in. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. So we just need one more. One more to complete the elements collection. I can't believe it. 
Okay, we have more. Oh, these are so cool. <gasps> love, 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 love. I wonder when our uh, power and all that's gonna get turned off because we still don't have enough to pay our bills. Who's this? Rohan Elderberry. Well, Rohan, what have you come for? Hmm? Have you come for some mischief? Oh, he's feeling flirty. Yikes. Let's mind control him to clean. 24 hours, all right. So what's up? You gonna clean or what? I love how she maniacally laughs every time she uses it. <gasps> no! Thank you so much for brushing him off. Like, okay, you can go home now. That was very unwanted. He just came in, hit on us. I don't think so, Mr. Sir. Look at it. I know that the pillow is totally clipping, but she's cute playing with her little duck. <laughs> Gosh, guys, independent toddlers are the best. Oh, she really needs to pee. All right, it looks like Andy's gonna get up soon. I'm gonna get her to tuck in her little bean here and then go to the bathroom, then go downstairs, have some brekkie. What should we have? Fruit salad, all right. That's like our only option for some reason. <laughs> ah, I think we might have to sell something. Oh, you know why? It's because our power is turned off right now. Yeah, because we don't have enough money. To pay our bills after this t after today at work though we should be fine hopefully we need to make a little bit over a thousand dollars oh my gosh mail 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 hopefully we got more elements that we don't have five thousand fifty seven okay yeah we need to make like a thousand dollars at work today what why are you up you were just asleep all right all right let's see what we got another foe zone Boo! Definitely don't need that. What's this though? Oxypin? That sounds new. Shoot. <sighs> I just want our collection to be done! Another day at work too. Oh my goodness, okay. I just want Andy to have this bit, this second baby already. I am dying to see what it is. Okay. Another day, another dollar. Am I right? We need to do good today. You guys, I just realized that we're on the last stage of our aspiration. So we have to clog three different drains, perform voodoo five times, and get to level 10. I wonder if we can clog this drain and it'll count. Let's see. Oh my god, like clockwork, Luke asks us out every single day. Oh my gosh, it worked! Yes! Okay, guys, yes. <laughs> Almost $1,500 and they turned off our water. We gotta pay the bills as soon as we get home. I'm so embarrassed. Oh my gosh, I've already been filming for an hour and 10 minutes. Time freaking flies when I'm playing this. All right, love, go ahead, pay the bills. Lovely, we're broke again, love to see it. She's definitely in trimester three, that's for sure. Oh, there's our fish. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. We worked hard to get that fish. Hey, I told you to give Primrose a bubble bath. Please, do what I tell you. Do not ignore your child. Oh god, she's freaking yawning with the loofah. Hey! No, 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 that wasn't good enough. It needs to be a thorough bath. Okay, there you go. You're in the green. You're in the clear. You can go to bed now. Jeez, man. Okay, so what do we need to do for her skills still? She's almost maxed the communication skill. That's crazy. Maybe we should max it. <gasps> oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Andy is in freaking labor, y'all. Holy cannoli. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I just really want her to max this communication skill really quick. Keep going, Bean. You're almost there. There, you did it. It's okay, you can stop now. <laughs> and Andy, I'm gonna need you to get up. We need to go have this freaking alien. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Happy Bait Hospital, definitely join her. I cannot wait to see if, this, if the dad is the same for both of the aliens. So we're gonna be looking at the family tree as well when we get back. I'm so excited. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Barry. I never thought that we would be having our second kid in the fourth episode, but here we are. 
And we've got our ghost, our ghost doctor, which is pretty tight. Delivering our alien baby. You know what? Minerva Charm. I think she might be a spellcaster. So we have a spellcaster ghost delivering our human alien baby. I love the Sims. I swear to Bob if we have twins. <laughs> What's it gonna be? I feel like I'm gonna have a stroke. A girl? A boy? A girl and a boy? Two boys? Two girls? Hurry it up. <sighs> it's a boy. <laughs> do I want this boy to be the next? I don't think so. But if, 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 if I do though, I need to name it something that has to do with Rose, just in case I do decide that he's gonna be the heir. I was thinking either Thorn, because roses have thorns, and there's a Thorn Bailey in The Sims already. Or Bud. This was a suggestion from one of you guys, because Rosebud. Thornberry and Thorn Bailey are awfully close. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Thorn is heads, Bud is tails. Hey Google, flip a coin please. You got tails. Tails! Okay, Bud Berry. Bud Berry. That's such a silly name. Should we do Buddy Berry? Nah, we're doing Bud. Should we do two Ds? Yeah, let's do two Ds. <laughs> oh my gosh, Senior Pollination Technician number three. Hold up, I think that is the same one. Oh my gosh, it's a girl. <gasps> and it, oh my gosh. That is so cute, you guys. They have the same moms. Oh, I love that. I love that. Andy has a freaking alien girlfriend. That is so freaking rad. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. <laughs> a little boy and a little girl from the same alien. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. It kind of bums me out that we can't like invite her over or like have a relationship with her at all that makes me really sad but oh well okay where's our baby at don't day a star alien boob boob <laughs> babe <laughs> what the heck where is it oh it's down here in the lab uh i should probably move you back upstairs so you're not neglected all right Hello, baby. Some of you guys wanted me to send him to Homeworld. I don't think we should do that, though. I'm already attached, so... Yeah, it is what it is. We are having this child. We are keeping it. Gosh, Primrose is so just unproblematic, and I'm obsessed with her. She's the best. I'm gonna go ahead and do some... Flashcards with her, teach her basic needs because her thinking needs to go up. And this is really cute screenshots. Come on, love. I know you're smart as heck. You're an alien. Gosh, look at how cute she is. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. How did you get so cute? Ugh. Adorable. Just adorable. We need to get a, um, a camera so that we can take a bunch of pics. I know that we have a camera on our phone, but it's just not the same. They always come out poor quality. It looks like Andy has served some veggie chili. Very yummy. Miss Andy, you don't have to worry about being pregnant anymore. You can vibe. You can survive a work day without completely dying. <laughs> Oh crap, you have work in an hour. We had the baby all night. Okay, well, it looks like we need a nap then. Oh, let's put the other uh, birth certificate on the wall up here. Yay, movement level four. Very good bean. Oh, that's so dope. <sighs> Man, these alien babies are really hyping me up. All right, hopefully we get promoted today. Um, It's been, this is gonna be our third day. If we don't get promoted, um, I'm gonna be worried. How do you guys feel about the pack that they teased? The, um, a lot of people are saying it's called Happy Haunts. 
Why why do you come to work in this? I, I do not understand. I'm actually excited though, you guys. I'm usually excited for like every single pack, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, we are almost excellent. So I think we will get promoted today. Why does Becca always come to work uh, in her normal clothes? We're in our normal clothes too, but <laughs> she's like, she's here every day with that. Why is Alice the receptionist now? It was Abby before, why is it Alice now? I don't like that! She was such, so good at her job! Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell her to break up with Eric. See what she says. What do you think? I told you what happened. You're right, I can do so much better than him, I'm going to break up with Eric tonight. <gasps> Holy cannoli! We just broke up a marriage! You guys- some of you guys in the comments said that, uh... That he always cheats on Alice in your save files. That is just so messed up. It made me, like, not like him even more. Also, we should go outside and dig up all this stuff too, because we really need to finish that collection. Dig, 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 dig! I don't want capsules or treasure maps. Oh my gosh, you guys, like clockwork. Luke, you really need to learn our schedule. Crap, she passed out outside in a heat wave. That can't be good. Oh yes! A promotion! Thank God. Laboratory leader. She will now make 142 an hour and we got a cash bonus and a hygienic decontamination pod? Sounds interesting, but I'm very excited. I'm so stoked. And yes, I have given up on giving her freaking work outfits because I was really getting over changing it every single time we had to go to work. <laughs> okay, what was that thing that we got? Is it in our household inventory? Yes, this thing right here. This will clean you places you didn't know you had. Utilizing technology developed by the government. Enter with caution. Uh, this is definitely going down downstairs in the lab. I'm excited. I'm very excited to use this. Does it come in different colors? Oh yes, queen. It comes in like a mint. All right. How's your hygiene? <laughs> it's pretty good. You just need some sleep. So we are level seven. So we need to get promoted three more times. Three more, and our birthday is in seven days until we're an adult. <gasps> oh gosh. Time really flies, doesn't it? So I'm thinking we invite over Luke for a little bit of relaxation time. It's a little late, so I think I have to summon him instead of invite him over, but that's okay. Mood! Finally, we're able to use this little area. Aw, this is cute. She's heading to bed, and he is helping himself to our cupcakes. <laughs> okay, sir, make yourself at home, I guess. Oh my gosh, he came in here, and now he's like making the blocks things. He's, he's so silly. What are What is his last trade again? Child of the Islands, active and family-oriented. Night on the town, huh? Looks like we gotta go out tonight. You keep waking up Primrose, this poor bean. I hope that you guys don't mind that I'm, um, why do you keep coming in your hospital gown? I hope that you guys don't mind that I'm like forwarding through. Ooh, this is her new, um, this is her new career outfit. <gasps> that is dope. I like that. I'm okay with that. Those boots are fire. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, let me check the calendar as well. So tomorrow is Bud's birthday and today is Night on the Town. I would love to go out with our friends tonight. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Maybe we should um, go and mentor pleasure-seeking nature. No, maybe not. I mean, she might get uh, that. She might take that the wrong way. Uh, hmm. Let's share close-knit tips. But in reality, Andy is really saying Okay, it's Friday, we have the weekend off, let's go out tonight. Let's round up the crew, let's go to a bar, let's go to a restaurant, have a bunch of drinks, and just vibe. It's night on the town, 
Things should be discounted. What do you think? Oh, she's excited now. I don't know if she's always been excited, but that's perfect. <laughs> we need one more uncommon metal to invent the Electroflux wormhole generator. I don't know why she's feeling so flirty at work, but I'm a little bit concerned. Please don't flirt with Nox. Please don't flirt with Nox. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we can do it now. Thank goodness. Let's go ahead and invent the wormhole generator. I'm pretty sure that means that we'll be able to uh, go to 6M, right? These time capsules only have the My Sims trophies in them, right? Nothing else? If so, I'm just gonna freaking sell them all. Yeah, they are. That's so annoying. <laughs> all right, $560 for all those capsules. I'll take it. Oh my goodness, look at that. Contact aliens, attempt alien con- Okay, let's try it. I'm a little bit scared. I'm gonna get her a uh, moodlet solver because she is just like in a mood and it's really annoying. Drink that, baby. It'll make you feel so much better, I promise. Down the hatch. Okay. Calibrate? What does that do? I don't know, let's see. Oh man, that's so cool. I don't think I've ever messed with this thing before. I just use it as a decoration. All right, end of the day. We'll have to attempt to uh, contact aliens some other time after the weekend. But now it's time to party. <laughs> Let loose after a very long work week. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, no freaking way. Wait. Why are you famous? Is it from contacting aliens? Is it because you've gotten abducted twice and had two alien babies? Are you like a star on the news now? I guess that doesn't surprise me much. <laughs> okay, yes, right, your mood is fantastic because of the moodlet solver. It's 7 p.m. I say we put on a very, very cute outfit and go out with our friends. Where should we go? And what should we wear? Let's wear this dress. I absolutely love this dress. And we'll hit the travel. I placed so many lots in this save file. We haven't even checked out like half of them yet. Ooh, bar disco passenger ship. Should we try that? That looks fun. Okay, we're gonna invite Luke, of course. Maybe we should invite all of our coworkers. Okay, all of our coworkers, Luke and Alice. Let's go. Let's have a good night tonight, you guys. I hope this, uh, I hope this lot's good. I saw it on the gallery and I was like, oh my gosh, that would be so perfect in Brindleton Bay. A boat bar? Come on now. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, hold on. Let me pause. Let me have a look at this. Yeah, we all know that you think Luke's attractive. That's nothing new. <laughs> Wow, this is so cool. We got like a red carpet walkway. Okay, let's let's uh, let's head in and see what we got going. Okay, you walk in. There's like a front desk. I'm not really sure, but what's downstairs? Okay, head down. Is this a dance floor? Yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, yes, we got the bar over here. Wow. Okay, that's really cool. And then up these stairs, we have another little seating area. We have a piano player, very nice. Is that everything? What's this right here? Oh my gosh, they even made it look like the boat has like steering. Like this is like the cockpit. <laughs> That's really freaking cool. Oh wow, I love this so much. It's called, if you guys want, Bar Disco Passenger Ship. Just search the item name for that and it should pop up. Okay, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Are you guys ready to have a good night? Let's go ahead and compliment his outfit. Hey Luke, you look super nice. Are you ready to have fun tonight? I had such a long week. Ask for reassurance. He's so happy. Could you see us being together forever? You guys aren't even together. <gasps> yes, I do. Oh my gosh, he said yes. 
Wow. I would get her the Minty Fresh Pet Confection because mint, but I don't... I think that's for... What? Why are the drinks zero dollars? Is it because it's night on the town? Let's get the coconut drink. It's the most expensive one. Yeah, let oh, it's ladies night too. That's what I'm talking about. It's ladies night and the feelings right. Oh yes, it's ladies night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Wait a minute. Zephyr Gottlieb. I think that's one of your guys' sims. I realized that in the house of men, that's our neighbor. I mentioned the four guys, but I never mentioned him. He lives with them too. I found him on the gallery under my hashtag. So if that's your sim, let me know, because he's really cool. Did you get your drink? Where did the bartender go? Are you just like not on the clock anymore? What's going on? Oh, she came upstairs to say what's up to Theo. That's what's up. But no, this is very low key and that's really not what I wanted. All right, there we go. There's the mood. Let's dance together. I mean, that's a little better, but it's just her and Amy. Where's everyone else? This is not going as planned. Whose drink is this? I'm gonna drink it since no one else is. <laughs> oh crap, it's gone. Dang it. Okay. Oh, there's a new bartender. At least I think. Okay, there we go. Oh, her name's Olive. That's so cute. What's this? Feeling cared for from Concerned Sim? That's strange. Order ladies night drink? Nice! Where's the coconut? That's all I wanted. <laughs> and that was just like not an option anymore. All right, we'll have a sea of fire. $89 drink. Dude, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. I really want to get to know her. Let's just give her a friendly introduction. How you doing, Olive? Let's do a knock-knock joke. Oh, are you making new friends over here? Wow, look at you and your girl gang. Dang. That lineup, though. Oh, who's calling? Want to join me at the club? Caleb, we are, uh, we're at this boat thing and it's ladies night. Why don't you come here? Invite to hang out. How's that drink? And where's Luke? Caleb, 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 I'm at the boat bar in Brindleton Bay. You should come through here. It's ladies night. There's a ton of girls here. She's like, Caleb? Like Caleb Vitor. I know him! He's coming here right now? <laughs> I don't even know. Theo got promoted. Congratulations, sir. Well, she's making new friends. Look at her go. I love this so much. Um, Cassandra, can I help you with that glare? Oh, hey, girl. Tell unbelievable story. Oh my god, who are you guys lusting over? Where's our friends? Where's Luke? Oh, I guess he left. Ew! Eric's here! Gross! Gross, 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 gross. Oh my gosh, let's see what this fool does. Let's see who he hits on. Because I think we told Alice to break up with him. I'm not sure if she did it yet. Oh yeah, they're still married. Of course he'd be here during ladies night. Oh my gosh. Oh no, she's drunk too. Angry drunk? Oh. <gasps> Oh man, since she's angry drunk, we should come over here and chew him out. Let's yell at him. She's like, oh my god, Eric's here. How dare you? How dare you break Alice's heart? How dare you hit on me? I'm only doing this because Andy is an angry drunk. I can't believe you told Alice what I said to you. She's my best friend. I really don't know what you expected. Stay away from her. Stay away from me. You are a terrible human. Alright, time to dance. <laughs> oh. Two in the morning. Okay, let's go home. Whew, what a long, long, long night. It's Bud's birthday. Oh my gosh, very exciting. We were supposed to hang out with Luke, but we didn't end up hanging out with him at all. We just made a bunch of new girlfriends and ripped Eric a new one. I love to see it, honestly. 
that's the kind of best friend I would want. All right, come over here. Let's get some water. Primrose, how's your mood? It's pretty good, but I think you just put yourself to bed. No, no playing in the toilet, silly girl. Come to sleep. Yeah, stumble on over. Have some water. <gasps> oh, you poor bean. What's this? Warm sipping. A warm drink can give any moment a nice glow. When did you have a warm drink? I felt free from getting drunk. It was nice to forget about everything and just have fun. Uh, what else we got? Sobering up. I hate drama. <laughs> this sim doesn't like conflict or arguments. Well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And oversensitive from, from PMSing. All right. Good stuff. Let's use the bathroom. Her needs are actually pretty good. Surprising because she was like out partying all night. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know what? We can buy the observatory now. Which is really exciting. I don't know why we have so much money. Well, we have a job. I guess I do know why. <laughs> all right, backyard observatory. Definitely gonna get the blue one and we will aim it over there. And I guess our backyard fence needs a gate now. I'm guessing spying on the neighborhood is how you get logic and mischief up at the same time. But let's see. Okay, it's definitely helping mischief. It's not helping logic though. Oh, but we got a breakthrough. That's what's up. We need to clog a drain. Let's visit, let's visit uh, Luke's house really quick clog one of his drains and then we can go over to maybe Alice's house and clog her drain as well. I'd rather clog the drains of the people that we know just because I know that they'll forgive us, you know? And then I think we should do voodoo on Eric, 100%. Hello guys, very good to see you. All right guys, let's, uh, okay, let's clog this drain and then head out. Oh no, he was mad at us for doing that. Okay, go ahead and post a selfie. And then let's head over to Alice's house. I don't remember where she lives. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, her her daughter aged up. Oh, <gasps> some of you guys in the comments said you wanted Andy and Alice to get together as well. That is a cute idea because they keep flirting with each other. Knock, knock. Hopefully Eric's not here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, okay, yeah, her dad and her mom. Oh, that's so sad. They're just right here when you walk in, huh? Okay. Let's clog the drain and get out of here. Oh, crap. She was just thinking about a baby bottle. Is she pregnant? <gasps> crap, she's pregnant with Eric's baby. Oh, my gosh, no. I just told them to break up, too. Oh my god, she's crying! Okay, we gotta ask her if she's single. She said she was gonna break up with him. Ugh! Married to Eric? No, girl, you need to dump him! I'm going to break up with Eric tonight. Okay, oh my god, is she off to do it right now? Is she doing it right now? Wexel Rinshoops, Zephara? Ah, Tom Kupu. Oh. She just did it right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Crazy. Um, I ended it with air. You and I should go out sometime to help me forget about him. Yes, 100%. Look, he's putting earwax in the salad. Horrible human. Just awful. I would tell her that she could come stay with us for a bit if she wanted to, um, but she has a daughter. How old is her daughter? Is she here? I saw her, but I don't know if she left. Eric probably hates our guts. Could you imagine? It's okay, you'll find someone better, I promise. If he's going to hit on me being your best friend as if I wouldn't tell you, Come on. I was thinking of maybe like moving Alice in and like we could raise our babies together, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like maybe her and Eric would co-parent. All right, so I'm just gonna get her to grab some leftovers and then we can go upstairs and age up Bud and give him his makeover. And then that's probably gonna be it for uh, 
for this episode because I've already been filming for quite some time. And I know these episodes are so freaking long. I just get so carried away with this Let's Play. I don't know what it is. All right, bud. Let's go. Oh. <gasps> he aged up with the tentacles. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wild. Okay. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Bloodberry. All right, Mr. Sir. Oh, his eyes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's go into cast. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. <gasps> Such a cutie. Am I right? Oh my gosh. Okay. Is this his alien form? Okay, let's do his disguise first. Let's see what you got. Look at him! <laughs> He's so cute. I don't know if we should, like, give him a red makeover. I feel like I'm gonna struggle picking the new heir for every generation, especially if it's, like, you can have more than one kid and you can choose which one you want to be the next heir. I don't know. I just, I love all of my sims. <laughs> this name, Bud, it reminds me of Kill Bill. I keep saying in my head to the only man I ever, wait, to my brother Bud, the only man I've ever loved, Bill. You guys. <sighs> Miss Barry here has some cute kids. Even this hair is so very cute on him and I hate this hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and make him rose as well and then we can decide who we want to be the heir when they age up into teens i think i like this hair the best i also really liked this one but it doesn't come in red good old wings all right you guys i'm gonna give him his alien disguise and his other outfits off camera because i don't want to waste too much time doing that in this episode since we're almost done okay i'm gonna have to take the cute little bedspread off this bed as well that's such a bummer oh i love the way that they look but oh well i want you to master your movement skill so i'm just gonna get you to run around a little bit all right she's almost done it when is her birthday anyway Oh my gosh, tomorrow? Holy cannoli time flies. Okay, wow. <sighs> okay, well, I think this is a good place to leave it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. It was very, very, very fun to film. Please let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Let me know what you would like to see as well. There are a bunch of things we still need to do for Andy. We need to get promoted three more times. We need to get to level 10 in Mischief and Logic. For Logic, we're halfway through level 7 and Mischief, we're like one-fourth of the way through of level 6. I think we'll definitely get it. Um, she still has her entire adulthood to reach all of that. So I think we're I think we're moving at a good pace. And we absolutely nailed Miss Primrose's skills. So that's exciting. And we successfully broke up Alice. And oh my gosh, wait. Here she is. Here's mom number two. Can we get her here, I wonder? Oh, <gasps> we can summon her, but I kind of feel like that would be cheating. That's so weird that they know her, but Andy doesn't. Okay, Olivia Kim Lewis. This is Alice's daughter. Okay, she she's a young adult. Oh, yeah, and her aspiration. Crap, we're on level four, so we just need to do the voodoo, and then we need to achieve level 10. I think we can do it. I think we're making great time. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you on my next video, which is going to be Legacy Challenge. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, a fantastic holiday break, whatever it is that you're going through. I hope it's great. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!